All right, boys, welcome back to another video here today. I got something that I wanted to make for a little bit now to inform you guys of what you should be grinding towards because in my comment section I have seen a lot of people saying the same thing of like what do you do now right now that we are uh, we're past this phase in the, in the game we've grinded up our BP we've grinded up our gear we've done all of these things what's the next goal we have or what we should be doing to get you know further and further into the game and I have the answer for you here today so if you are new to the channel consider subscribing it really does help out a ton and if you do enjoy the video leave a like Listen to the parrot. Let's go for a solid 599 likes. Let's see if we can crack that goal. With no further delay, let's jump straight into it. Let's talk about everything we got here today. So first of all, for anyone wondering now, we're going to have to preface everything I got to talk about. It. So first of all, what you should be doing when you pass the, when you do your BP, when you do your thing, or even when you just start the game off, right? Right now, I did a statistic and I learned about my uh, my community or, you know, my viewers, right? I found out that 30 to 40% of you are actually day one players. And the rest, like 60 to 70%, are actually newer players, which I find very, very shocking given, yeah, that's uh, that's insane, dude. That's like, it's like that means, you know, the game does go and pick up a lot of new players, but it seems that it doesn't hold those players, right? It doesn't actually, you know, keep them playing the game. It's like they just play for a little bit and they dip. So that is the most depressing statistic I actually learned here today. So uh, hopefully it's different uh, in other locations. But off of my channel, I learned that yes, most of you guys are newer or you joined after the first like two, three weeks of the game starting. So that's kind of where you are. With that being said, most of you are in different locations, but it doesn't matter. Whichever location of the game you're at, the starting, the ending, the middle, wherever you are, you should be grinding towards the same thing. And that is in fact getting your heroes to SSS+. Now I know it seems very, very hard to do that, but I will walk you through it. Recently, if you, uh, if you took a look at my stream, I have been getting more in SS uh, characters, right? I got SS Deku, I got SS uh, Froppy, I got SS Mineta, I now almost have an SS Uraraka, I now almost have an SS Ida, he's the one that's like almost there, I just need like one more copy of him, or if I grind out a few more days of Hero Trials, he will be there, right? So again, yes, I will say it, that luck plays a factor into how fast you get an SSS hero. Most of you, a lot of you, went and bought the Uraraka bundle, which will push your Uraraka almost to SSS Plus right now. Given you would have already had an SS after Aizawa, if you purchased the bundle, now you might be around SSS, and that is where most of the community's SSS character is, right? You might be lucky enough to have a Deku SSS or other characters, but a lot of you and the big majority of you have Uraraka at that SSS or SSS Plus by now, right? You could have hit that already, I doubt that, but you might have already done it. So again, with that being said, with a character like Uraraka, or if your Ida's there, or if your Manette is there, or if any character that is grindable via, via Hero Trials, right? If they are close to the position of getting SSS+, Plus, that is your job to go and make sure they do that ASAP. Why is that? I will tell you. So first of all, a quick statistic that I mentioned in a previous video, not versus, uh, it, is, it is this, right? 12 copies of an S unit gets you to SSS+. Plus. That's about 1,080 shards. It will take you up to seven and a half months to get enough to SSS plus two units. That is grinding hero trials each day for those two units. Whichever unit that may be, you decide. But remember that seven and a half months is not considering you bought that bundle at Uraraka. That is not considering you pulled an extra copy of Ida. That is not considering a lot of things, right? So just grinding only hero trials, only hero trials, seven and a half months that's how much it will take you to get to that character to that stage you need it to be so let's say now that i have uh what is it uraka almost to ss i will say it'll take me another what three to four months to finish that the hardest goal is to complete the sss part and the sss part right so we get or the sss plus part and the sss part again it's going to be very hard to say this multiple times so please if i do mess it up and i say sss instead of sss plus just forgive me on that one but yes it will take you a good amount of time, which I highly recommend you start now, right? Starting later will just push it, you know, farther. There's no point in starting later. Yes, I would recommend if you do have tickets that you're sitting on, right? If it is like the regular free tickets and you have like, I see people saving multis to do at one point. If you are saving those, you can go and spend those or you can wait. People are waiting to, you know, save it up for Mina or other characters that jump onto the Class 1A banner. That is fully up to you. Also, keep in mind, we now have that free daily ticket thing. You should be spending this every day. Let's see if I get any luck over here. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, Kaminari. I think uh, I think that wasn't at the pity, so I'll take that. But yeah, not bad. I got Kaminari there. Again, every time you pull a character, go straight away. Upgrade him. See how much closer you get. Let's say that just because I did that pull, just because of that, I got now my Eda closer to SS. 
or I got my Eda closer to SSS than my Froppy. If that happens, then I should start focusing on Eda, right? Finish up Eda, focus on him there. If he got like a significant jump, that's who you should prioritize. Try your best to get an SSS plus character as fast as possible. Okay, but now it took me a while to get into the main point that I want to address here today. It is in fact, once you get that character to SSS plus, the thing that I've been trying to mention like 30 times in this video, it is because you unlock a new feature in the game, which is in fact a shard shop. I got this image from Reddit. So for, first of all, you know, I'll leave a link down below for who uh, posted this. So now you might be wondering what is so beneficial about a shard shop? Why am I trying to hype this up? It is because for your premium characters, right? Let's say you have All Might, Aizawa, Endeavor, Stain, whatever character you may own that you want to go and get. Again, a premium character, right? I, I highly recommend, highly recommend you only focus on premium characters via the shard shop due to like the nature of the game, right? You want to go and get those characters up there because with someone like Shoto, you have a chance to get him from the free banner and you have a chance from, you know, various locations. Bakugo may be free at one point. There's a lot of things with, those, you know, the regular roster of S characters. So put that aside. Right now, let's focus on premium characters. With premium characters, the only way to actually go and SS them is by spending a lot and a lot of money in the game or getting lucky and getting it on a multiple pull, right? Let's say you pull two Aizawas uh, or two Stains in your 50 summons. Let's say you did that, boom, there you go. The only thing is now for free to play or for any other player in the game that is, you know, a light spender, what happens is if they're trying to go for an SS of one hero, they will then miss out on the S base copy of another one later down the road, right? So with that being said, this is your option or your alternative to go for free and obtain a SS char a character, right? Technically speaking. Now, the only catch here is yes, you will have to go and get more shards to go and trade in for those shards. So let's say you want Aizawa, okay? I will explain to you how the shop works and you'll understand it, okay? First, when you're going to go and trade in, okay? S tier shards get you 20 of that new currency you're taking a look at, right? Then A shards will get you eight of the currency, then tier or then B tier shards will get you six of that currency. So remember all that when you're taking a look into this, right? Let's say I have just a ton of A shards uh, lying around. I'll get eight of the currency for each one that I trade in. Now, let's say I wanna go and buy 10 shards of All Might, all right? You have to first own the character, I do believe. So let's say I wanna go and buy All Might shards. What I will have to do at this point is I'll have to go and obtain a crap ton of regular shards. I will then go and buy those 10 shards, but now there's a catch. When you buy 10 shards, it will increase the price to another 10, okay? It'll go up by 10. As you see, the base cost right now is 20. It will then go up to 30, okay? With all that being said, you will now understand, yes, it is kind of gatekeeping it by that increase every time, but it is an alternative way instead of spending a crap ton of money on the banner by continuously spending on a banner uh, for a character that you already got, right? Let's say you got a stain, you have 30 tickets left, and let's say you waste those 30 tickets, you don't hit pity, you just get lucky, you get him again. What happens is that pity could have transferred over to another character, you could have got lucky with another character. Instead, you got two stains, but again, with this scenario, you can go and get an SS character. Yes, it is very hard to do, but this is your alternative to do it for free. It's the only other way. Yes, we currently do have a vent shop, right? That does exist other than shard shop. So again, if you head over to the mall, uh, the mall tab, not this one, the mall tab right here, head over to this, go to event shop. This is the other current way for you guys to go and grind up to an SS or SS hero, right? From a premium character. So Endeavor, Aizawa, Stain, Shigaraki, Dobby, any of those characters, that are premium, you can go and purchase them right here. But again, it's a week shop, right? You only have, uh, what is it, a week or two to purchase, then it resets. So again, every two weeks or one week, it resets. But again, it'll take you a while via the scenario. If you, you know, kind of match up this with the shard shop, with both of them kind of adding on to each other, at some point, yes, you will get a premium character to SS. It'll be a little bit expensive, right? Let's say you have like 30 uh, Todoroki shards, you're just, you know, lying around. You don't want them. You're just gonna go and trade them in. That'll give you 20 of that currency. And yes, I will say if you're grinding hero trials while doing this, remember you're trading in those hero trial, you know, or technically you're trading in stamina for this currency. And with this currency, you're buying up to an SS hero or an SSS plus hero from the premium section. So yes, this is something that I really want you guys to achieve right away so that you take a look into it, understand it, and see that yes, you can get a premium character to SS and onwards if you continue via this scenario. Get a first, a regular character, Uraka, any of the class 1A students that have Hero Trolls unlocked, get them right now to SSS+, Plus. then take, you know, whatever you get from the shard section, take it over there to the shop, get to the shop, buy whichever character you want to go and SS first from the premium side of things. I highly recommend it only stays premium. With that being said, again, yes, you will be able to get a character up there. You will have to grind. It will be a free scenario or a free situation for doing it. But yeah, there you go. That's what I had for you here today. Hopefully, I was able to help you out. With that being said, that's been it for me. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.